It's a heavyweight collision between Bob Sapp and the man who possesses some of the most lethal kicks in mixed martial arts history, Mirko Kroka. Mirko Kroka set to enter the octagon and listen to the crowd. They love this guy. Prokop is simply a devastating striker. He has huge power in his punches, and his left high kick is a thing of legend. He has an extremely strong base and some of the best takedown defense in MMA. Mirko Prokop, fired up and ready to give the crowd what they came to see. Making his way to the octagon, and he has this crowd fired up. Bob Sapp is built like a superhero. He is just a gigantic man with crazy strength. He likes to charge in and attack aggressively, but because of his size, he has a lot of trouble maintaining that pace if it goes into the later rounds. Bob Sapp, ready to throw down and put on a big show for this capacity crowd. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide, now available at tapout.com. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a striker. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 235 pounds, fighting out of Zagreb, Croatia. This man is a former Grand Prix champion of pride. Mirko Roka! And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a freestyle fighter. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Seattle, Washington, Bob the Beast Sam. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. Herb Dean is our referee. I'm Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan, and we're ready to get things started. Are you ready to fight? Mirko Krokop, Bob Sapp. Round one Come is on, underway. Go. The victor here will, of course, be facing off against tonight's like other semifinal out. winner for the UFC title. And I'm sure both of these guys' corners are telling them the same thing. Worry about the man in front of you right now. They can't afford to be focusing on the finals yet. Oh, big kick. Nice sprawl, good takedown defense. Over the top. Swing and a miss. Push kick. Nice body kick. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. Use your face. Push forward. Push forward. Don't retreat. Patience. Keep stepping the outside. Two, three, two. Two minutes remains in round number one. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. The left. Gets a takedown. Working hard to try to get out of this bad spot. Under 90 seconds remains in round one. Pushing his opponent away. Oh, he lets him up. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Coming up on one minute, baby. Make him reach and make him pay. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Oh, 
answered by a big body shot. Good takedown defense. Working your angles. And now he's answered. Lead up and cut. Step the outside, keep control. 30 seconds remains in the round. Looks like Krokop is cut. Missed on the takedown attempt. Round one is complete. Both fighters seem content to keep this fight on the feet that round. Yeah, but it wasn't very effective, Mike. Sometimes you need to mix in at least a threat of a takedown to open up your stand-up game. Okay, split that offense, cut that angle. Split that offense. Hey, five minutes of hell, tighten your punches up. The uppercut is there all day, but you got to bring something behind it. Listen, jab, okay? I don't want you looking at him. I want you step jabbing with the quick jab, okay? He's got nothing. I want him backing up. Let's check out some of the action from that round, Mike. This was just an unbelievable counter right here. This is flawless timing. Right here, we see that tremendous counter shot land. Relax. Don't go for the big hook. Use the right hand. Hook. The beautiful Ariani. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? Round two. Come on, let's do it. Crow Cop is bleeding bad here. This does not look good. One, one, two, nine. Press forward. They are both staying in tight, close, right in the fire. One, two, let's go. Both guys staying in tight. Trying to find the range. We got plenty of time. Keep angling, keep angling. Oh, no. oh, over the top. Get that double going, get that double going. Trying to get the takedown. Stuffed. What an exchange here. Fast hands. Good battle inside. Oh, we got tagged with a hook. Oh, big kick to the head. Oh, big right hand. He's down. Boom. Oh, another one he landed. Well, it looked like he was hurt, but he snapped back really quick. He shoots. Good sprawl. He's got his back here. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Just over a minute remains. Under a minute remains. On, baby, one, and oh, he answers. Forty-five seconds remains. That's a huge left hand. Oh, he. Oh, big left hook. That's it. He's out. It is all over. Wow. Winner by knockout. Mirko Kroka with the victory. Here he steps into the middle of the highway and the semi runs him over. How good is that? Here we see it again. Instantaneous knockout victory. Look at this. Twist the head around. His eyes roll back into his head. The lights go out. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 21 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mirko Krokop! Mirko Krokop, the winner!